Today is Monday, October the 8th, 2012, and I just made a video one or two days ago about uh, uh, KT-88 that went bad and I took it apart and uh, we saw it was built. Well, here's something that I think uh, you might be interested in too, and, and it's the geometry of the way these tubes are built. This is a, a groove tube, 6CA7 EL34. A lot of people are uh, very fond of these. I'm one of them. I, I like this tube. Of course, this one's bad. This came out of a client's uh, uh, amplifier. And I'm going to break it open and show you the difference in the geometry of how it is constructed. I think I actually even still have the old parts from the uh, KT-88, the, uh, the beam power type tube. So uh, let's take this one apart. Let me bust it and get into it so I won't take up so much time and I'll show you. Okay, there she is smashed. Now I'm going to cut it apart and uh, I'll show you what it looks like inside and how it's different. Okay, I've just about got this thing apart and look at the difference. Okay, there's our plate, just like the uh, KT-88, much thinner. Uh, see, there's our, our cathode right in the middle. Here, see this? Let me cut it apart here. It has to be so darn difficult. There it is. Okay, there's the screen grid. Let me lay them out here kind of in, in order. Make sure they're in the camera. There's the plate, the screen grid, the control grid, and the cathode. The cathode's inside the control grid right here. There we go, there's our cathode. There's our control grid. There's the screen grid. I had them out of order, I'm sorry. And this is the suppressor grid. That's the way that they're stacked in there. Plate, suppressor grid, screen grid, control grid, and cathode in that order. But notice that there is a big deal difference here. This is the third grid in the, uh, in the KT type tubes. From what I understand, the KT, I have been educated to be, to know it as meaning a kinkless tetrode, KT, kinkless tetrode, that's what I read. And I think that uh, that's the British version of the 6L6, the uh, EL34. Now this grid, unlike the, the uh, 6550 KT88, this grid is not internally connected to the cathode. It is a separate pin and has to be grounded. Okay, let me get the other parts. I have them right here. I will compare the two. Okay, that's the uh, EL34 6CA7. Here's the cathode, the control grid, the screen grid, and this is the 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 third grid of the KT-88-6550, this beam forming plate, why well, they call it a beam power tube, and then there's its plate. So the big deal difference between the two, and I'm sure it has some audio qualities that we like. There's a lot of glass there, I don't cut myself. Let me get this thing apart so it'll be a little bit neater. There's a big huge filament, look at the filament right there. That came out of the end, the uh, end, that came out of the middle of that guy, the cathode. So there it is, right there. But this is what differs between the 6550s, KT88, uh, EL34, 687. This one's got a real grid. This one's got a beam forming grid. If you look in some of the old tube manuals, this is the real, this is the classic one right here. This is the one that you'll see. It may not have exactly this shape, but this is the one that they show in the uh, in the in the classic 6L6. So there's the difference, and what that sounds like, only the musician's ear can hear. I probably can't hear it. So there you go.